So it has been over a hundred degrees every afternoon this week. And even last weekend, I don't, I don't really know what the temperature was, but it was, it was really hot, like really too hot to be outside much. So basically I come out, make sure that my animals have cold, fresh water, and and their fans on, and ice bottles, ice water bottles, to try to keep them cool. Although my big bunnies don't seem to like them that much, but. The baby bunnies do, don't you guys? How much these guys have grown? Oh, cutest bunnies. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Say, so look at my face. I'm so cute. Yeah. Oh, it actually feels really good out here right now. Nice breeze and um, temperature has dropped. Just making sure everybody's ready. I forgot my um, milk crate for my my um, water bottles that I freeze for them. So I'll have to go grab those real quick. But I see my goats ready for some, I would like to say attention, but it's animal crackers. They're, they're waiting for animal crackers right now. Look at Louisa. Louisa likes her attention, but the other ones definitely would be happy if I had never come near them again, but brought animal crackers. That's all there is. There's this white girl here. But those guys, watch, I'm gonna run and just walking near them, and off they go toward the animal crackers. He's putting yourselves to bed? Huh? <laughs> little cute little silkies. Louisa got carried away and tipped over the little coop. Probably playing tag with Isabella because that's what happens. But, yeah where the animal crackers are. <laughs> yeah, suddenly, Dolores and Isabella like me also. So, I'll just keep, I'll keep buying them. Okay. Next. Next. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, you have knocked it over. There you go. Okay, one for you. One for you. Is that the cutest thing you've ever seen? It's so stinking cute. I love them. So, I have a broody hen. And I, I don't know if it's normal or not, but she, she switches her um, nest boxes. And I don't know if I can get this to flip screens. So she goes from between this box and, and that one where the, uh, as, as Promi calls it, the polka dotted one goes in. But I, I don't know. I don't think that she is having any fertile eggs because the ones I have taken are not fertile. 
um, but she is this guy here's favorite one. <laughs> so I don't really know. So this guy here is Bean. Bean is who is responsible for most of the babies, except for the first batch when I bought the pregnant mama at the auction. But yeah, he uh, made a habit of getting out of his cage and visiting all of my does. And um, <sighs> looks like he's trying that again. Time to move these. Hi, Isabella. Hi, sweet girl. Gosh, that's a good size hole for being in something with a floor. I guess two days max on how long she, he can be in a cage. Hi, Basil. Hi, handsome. He is just content living his best life. Sometimes looks like he is dead because he's sleeping so hard on his back with his tongue literally hanging out of his mouth that I'm pretty sure he has scared all of us pretty good at least once. <sighs> Weird. Oof. Hey ladies, watch this. Pure hatred for the human. No animal crackers, no bueno. Dolores, Dolores. Oh, she's so brave right now. She really wants those animal crackers. She is pregnant. I bought her at an auction, pregnant. I guess she's maybe due in the next um, three, four weeks, I guess. And Isabella. She was born in December and bought from a, um, oh, what are they called? A breeder. But because it was so cold out, they didn't bottle feed her. And nobody's really out there visiting with her. So she wasn't like the other goats who was all happy go lucky about. Um, <laughs> about us being in there and didn't care. She ran like crazy and it took like <laughs> four of us to find her or to catch her, but she was the one I wanted. So, um, this week is the first week I've been able to get her to eat any of the treats even. So, we'll see.